Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, we're going to answer one of those questions we get pretty frequently. Uh, what the heck does caliber mean? This is one of those questions we've answered in a series of our other videos over time, but uh, you know, we have over 600 videos and we've never done one specifically about this. The reason caliber is so confusing is because the same word refers to two different things depending on the size of the weapon. So behind me, you'll see a Browning M2 50 caliber machine gun. And then you'll also see the 16 inch 50 caliber guns that make up the main battery of Iowa class battleships. Both of those are 50 caliber weapons, uh, but you can see there's a little bit of a size disparity there. First, let's talk about the naval guns. That's why you're here on the channel. So for a naval gun, you measure the diameter of the barrel, 16 inches, which means that your projectile is going to be 16 inches wide. And then to tell how long the barrel is, you also measure it in calibers. So in this case, caliber is a measure of length. Uh, so for a 16 inch 50 caliber gun, that gun is 16 inches wide and 50 calibers long. And a caliber here is a multiplication of the diameter of the barrel. So 16 times 50 gives you the length of that gun or roughly 68 feet. A higher caliber weapon tends to have higher range and velocity while a lower caliber weapon, when we're talking about these big naval guns, uh, tends to have a shorter range and uh, lower velocity. So lower caliber weapons are much better for anti-aircraft guns where you're trying to arc shots up and, and get really high stuff. Uh, so the US Navy's famous pre-war 5-inch 25 caliber gun or the 5-inch 38 caliber gun, which are both uh, relatively low caliber, but then when you want a long range piece of artillery, like our 16 inch 50s, you get up to a really high caliber. Simple so far, 16 inch guns aren't the only battleship guns that come in 50 calibers. So uh, the US Navy also had a 14 inch 50 caliber gun. Uh, they were developing an 18 inch 48 caliber gun. So th there are a ton of different sizes. There's a 16 inch 45 caliber gun that armed a number of older American battleships. So for example, the North Carolina and South Dakota classes, uh, and even the preceding Colorado class had 16 inch 45 caliber guns. So those guns didn't quite have the same range as the Iowa class battleships. And when the US Navy was able to build a larger ship, they simply increased the caliber of the gun to create a longer caliber gun. They were, they were very happy with the penetrating ability of the 16 inch projectile and even though they tested an 18 inch gun, they, they weren't really interested in arming any ships with 18 inch guns. So they just increased the caliber of their guns. Likewise, we see that on modern destroyers. Uh, so the Arleigh Burke destroyers uh, have, have seen an increase in caliber of their five inch guns. So older destroyers go from the five inch 38 up to the five inch 54. And then Arleigh Burke destroyers have, had, uh, have gone all the way up to a five inch 62 caliber gun. So they just keep making that barrel longer so they can provide the naval gunfire support that uh, the Navy is devoid of without Iowa class battleships. Let's talk about caliber in terms of handguns and even up to the, uh, the 50 cal. So with small arms, caliber is the diameter of the barrel. So instead of saying that this is a half inch machine gun, you would say that it is a 50 caliber gun. So you would write that out as 0 0.50 caliber as opposed to 16 backslash 50 caliber with the main guns. So that means that this Browning machine gun has a barrel diameter of 50 calibers. The length doesn't matter. And they do come in different lengths. There, there are 50 cals that are made for aircraft wings that have shorter lengths, and then like this that has more of the longer length. Uh, that, that doesn't play a role in small arms. It's just telling you the diameter of the barrel. And most modern handguns are set up to tell you the diameter of the barrel. Uh, I own a couple of 1911 handguns. Uh, those are 45 caliber, so 0.45 
inches wide. Uh, likewise, countries that don't use inches to measure things, they use millimeters. So uh, if you own one of those evil Austrian plastic guns, it might be nine millimeter um, for you Glock owners out there. I prefer my 1911 personally. Now, uh, to further complicate things, some guns, typically smooth bores, uh, aren't measured in caliber or diameter, like nine millimeter, 10 millimeter. Uh, they are measured in gauge. A gauge, uh, so we're, we're primarily talking about shotguns here. Gauge is the number of rounds it would take that are the diameter of that barrel. So how many round balls that are the diameter of that barrel does it take to equal one pound? Uh, so for example, a 12 gauge shotgun is uh, something like 0.72 inches in diameter. So it takes 12 balls of lead of that weight to equal one pound. And don't ask me why that is the case, but there it is. We have kids watching this channel. So for those of you at home, you probably own a Nerf gun. Nerf guns are 50 caliber. If you measure a Nerf dart, it comes out to 50 cal. If you uh, get one of those larger Nerf darts, uh, what are they, jumbos or something like that? Those are 75 caliber. So th that's bigger than the machine gun behind me. The British Brown Bess musket of the Revolutionary War era for us Americans, Napoleonic era for you Europeans, uh, that was a 75 caliber musket. So a three quarter inch lead ball, that's pretty destructive. Now, one more complication. Uh, sometimes, particularly with older artillery, you may see it measured in poundage instead of in diameter. There's a real simple conversion rate for that though. Uh, so for example, we've got 20 pounder Parrot rifles. That means they fire a 20 pound projectile. Uh, a lot of Civil War and earlier artillery or Crimean War if you're watching from the UK, those sorts of artillery pieces are 12 pounders, 20 pounders, 30 pounders, whatever uh, the case may be, six pounders. Uh, and so if you go on board, say Constitution or Victory, uh, you get 24 pound long guns or 32 pound carronades, th things like that. Uh, when you get up to modern shell firing ships, the poundage becomes relatively standard. So a one pound gun is a 37 millimeter, a two pound gun is a 40 millimeter. So our Bofors 40 millimeter guns fire a two pound exploding projectile and then they've got the powder casing on the back. Six pounders are 57 millimeter and 12 pounders are 76 millimeter or three inches. What kind of guns have you shot? Let us know their caliber in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State and also from a number of other businesses and individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. And there's a link in the description if you would like to continue supporting us. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so that more people hear about our channel. Thanks for watching.